This is the AEM Suka. It's a tiny solar power harvesting board that stores its energy in a pair of supercapacitors. Here I've put it on, soldered onto a, uh, headers and sticked it into a breadboard. And you see a pair of supercapacitors and the solar cell. The name comes from the EP's harvesting IC AEM10941. And SUKA stands for supercapacitors. It is super cool because it's tiny. It has two regulated voltage outputs, 3.3 volt and 1.8 volt. Um, it is highly efficient and it even works from indoor light. The board is also super cool because it does not have a battery. Super capacitors, they never wear out and then they can be recharged endless times. In, in addition, supercapacitors are environmentally friendly and they don't have dangerous chemicals and don't have any restrictions on shipping and disposal. The solar input, it accepts up to 5 volt. The 3.3 volt uh, delivers up to 80 milliamps and the 1.8 volt delivers up to 20 milliamps. This board is really suited for low power applications. For example, uh, a Bluetooth low energy temperature sensor you, that advertises its values every 8 seconds. Or a, um, or a sensor that sends its values over LoRa every 30 minutes. Um, so how much um, does it actually harvest from indoor light? I've tested it with this solar cell, a slightly bigger one and an even bigger one. This one is 1 volt 100 milliamp in full sunlight. This is 2 volt 100 milliamp and this is 4 volt 100 milliamp. So in indoor light at 500 lux, the same light level as in an um, office, there's a char battery charge current of 50 microamps. So let's say you charge for 10 hours a day and then you can run an application that has an average current of about 20 microamps. Um, this solar panel, it, it would charge at 100 microamps at 500 lux. And you can power an application with an average current of 40 microamps. This solar panel, it will charge the battery at 280 microamps and you can power an application that has an average current of 116 microamps. And finally, I want to show you uh, this application. I've connected, um, this is a temperature humidity sensor that advertises its value over uh, Bluetooth low energy every X seconds. I've built a tiny AM Suku inside plus a pair of supercapacitors and I connected this solar panel as you can see. I selected this solar panel because the average current that this application uses is about 50 microamps and then um, this solar panel or this solar panel will not supply enough energy. Um, so this one runs from indoor light um, and it never has to be recharged and it will never fail because the battery will never wear out. It's awesome. Thank you for watching this video.